Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 16th of 2024 is titled Aurora, Georgia. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the sky and we can see many stars up towards the left hand side and upper left. And towards the lower left, we see a very bright object that is actually our moon, which is vastly overexposed here, because we're looking for fainter objects. Now the moon would actually be in a thin crescent phase. But because of the overexposure, it looks like just a blob there. Now, of course, the moon isn't what we're looking at here. And really, the stars are not either. But we're looking at the aurora that we see off to the right. Now, this image was taken in Georgia. Georgia is not a region that is known for seeing strong aurora. And if you look back at previous pictures where there are beautiful aurora that we see, they're often very far north or south. So northerly regions, things like Scandinavia, we see in Canada, we'll see things in Alaska, that's where we see the very prominent Aurora, kind of in a circle around the North Magnetic Pole, which is in northern parts of Canada. Now that's because of the way the Aurora forms. So the glow that we see here is an excitation of gases in Earth's atmosphere. And what that means is it comes from charged particles from our sun. They stream out throughout the solar system, some of them coming toward Earth. And when they strike Earth's magnetic field, the charged particles don't cross the magnetic field lines, but follow around them. So they actually strike Earth where those magnetic field lines curve into the Earth. And that's at the North and South Poles. So essentially, our, our magnetic field shields us from a lot of the particles from the sun. They don't strike Earth directly. However, when the sun is unusually active as it has been recently because of the very strong sunspot group that was recently across the surface of the sun, then there you get stronger storms and the intensity can actually deform the magnetic field lines. It doesn't wipe out the magnetic field, but what it does is bends those lines a little more and allows those particles to reach down to lower latitudes. And that's why we've been seeing aurora farther south across the world. So places like the southern United States now are seeing aurora that they have not seen for years. And that again, that's because normally our magnetic field will shield us. But right now, because of the stronger storms, it's been deformed a little bit. And we are seeing these aurora at very uh, at much lower latitudes than typically seen. Now we can see the different colors. Most of the auroral colors are associated with the excitation of oxygen atoms in Earth's upper atmosphere. And red or green colors depend really on how high in the atmosphere this occurs. In the very high parts of the atmosphere, the glow can appear red. In lower parts of the atmosphere, it can appear green. Now, even though we say higher and lower, these are still all very high up above Earth's surface. So we're looking at the aurora or at the regions that are really at the edge of space, because our atmosphere doesn't just have a solid boundary kind like the surface does. It just thins out and gets thinner and thinner and thinner as you head up into space. So here we get to see an image of the aurora as seen in Georgia in the United States just a, just about a week ago. So that was our picture of the day for May 16th of 2024. It was titled Aurora, Georgia. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.